Now, the novation can be a real novation or a personal novation. When you say real novation, there is a change in the object which happened in Dacion and Pago, di ba? From money, it is substituted with a property. That is a real novation. Now, if it is a change of party, that is what we call as a personal novation. Now, when it comes to the change of the debtor or substitution of debtor, there are two kinds. You have expromission and delegation. When you say expromission, it is change of debtor without the knowledge and consent of the debtor. When it says delegation, delegate. So that means it already gives you an idea, delegate, delegate with consent on the part of the debtor. Delegation with the consent, with the knowledge on the part of the debtor. Now, what is the reason why you have to identify whether the change of the debtor is with the consent of the original debtor or without the consent of the original debtor? Kasi ang problema, papaano kung new, yung new debtor insolvent? Di ba? Po, pwede bang balikan ng creditor yung old debtor? Now, to be able to answer that, you have to find out whether the change of the debtor is without the consent or with the consent. Because if it is with the consent, okay, and the insolvency of the new debtor happens prior to the changing of the debtor. So, kumbaga, itong new debtor na magpapalit sa old debtor, eh, insolvent pala, at saka it is of public knowledge at alam din ng old debtor, in case uh, that insolvency will give rise to what? Revival of the obligation of the old debtor. Kasi parang may bad faith kung titignan mo, di ba? Alam na nun ng old debtor na insolvent pala yung ipapalit niyang debtor, tapos pumayag siya para lang makawala siya. Kasi di ba, pag nagkaroon ng change, anong obligation ng mga extinguish Yung obligation niya. So sabi ng batas, teka muna, kung insolvent yung bagong debtor, at alam mo na na insolvent siya bago magkaroon ng novation, okay, po pwedeng maghabol pa rin ang creditor sa iyo. Kasi in bad faith ka, alam mo na nga ang insolvent, eh, tapos siya pa ipinalit mo. Pero it is different if it is expromission. Pag sinabi nating expromission, nag-change ng debtor yung creditor, okay, na hindi alam nung original debtor. So pag insolvent yung new debtor, at least, it is advantageous to the old debtor. Bakit? The obligation, his obligation will not be revived. So, creditor assumes the risk. He cannot run after anymore against the former old debtor. So, do not forget the distinction between expromission without knowledge and consent on the part of the debtor, old debtor, and delegation. I think the word delegation can help you easily remember. Pag delegation, i-connect mo kagad delegate. Sino nagde-delegate? E di yung old debtor. So, sin dinelegate yung old debtor sa new debtor. May knowledge yung old debtor. Is that clear? Any question? Class, when we go to contracts, whether you like it or not, what we have discussed in obligations will now be applied to contracts. Kung baga sa baraha, we are just laying the basis. 
Kaya pag nagkamali ka ng bunot, patay. Kaya ito, yung mga diniskas natin, simula kahapon at saka ngayong umaga, hindi ibig sabihin pagdating ng hapon at lalo na pagdating ng Webes, pag nag-meet ulit tayo ng Webes, eh, sasabihin yung nakalimutan yun na. Naku po. <laughs> Wala na kayong break. <laughs> nakalimutan nyo. Kasi, hindi ka pwedeng sumagot about obligation if you cannot connect it with contracts. Inuna lang natin ang obligations because obligation arises from law, contract, quasi-contract, delic, quasi-delic. Kaya pagdating natin sa kontrata, lalo na yung punto, papano mo sasabihin consummated na Nandun na sa consummation stage ng contract. Kung yung obligation, hindi pa na-perform. Because a contract will only be consummated if the obligation is already performed. So, kailangan i-tie up natin. So, that's the end on obligations. You have the time to sleep a while but better wake up <laughs> with see each other at 2 o'clock and make sure do not eat so much para mamya pagdating ng connect-connect, makakakonek ha? Obligations to contracts. Okay? So have a good break. What time are we going to start this afternoon? 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock. <laughs> I'll see you this afternoon. <laughs>